Okay, today's uh, video is a follow-on from yesterday's, um, showing what I was talking about, um, a ring magnet being attached at both ends. Now, I've done it with a barrel magnet at the beginning here, and I've got three or four more videos after that, basically trying to show you and explain that a, a ring magnet that is, uh, or any magnet, north, up, and south, down, I discovered, I'll show you that on video, um, when, when it's broken, they immediately flip sides, but you can push them back together and get the same field. So uh, it's self-explanatory, but you're going to have to watch it all. All right, thanks very much. Bye. But before that, after watching the video, I'll tell you what the discovery is, which isn't anything new for me, but it might be for you guys. Um, there's clockwise and counterclockwise coming in, and clockwise and counterclockwise going out, but inverted. Um, clockwise and counterclockwise repel each other. So what are they actually doing on top of a magnet? Um, well, they are actually forcibly repelling each other, and uh, I'm going to show it with a broken ring, ma ring magnet. Um, first off, as I said, we're going to see the barrel, but the discovery is the, f the two fields are what create the shape. It's the forcing of the shape. The halo wave is forcing against each other. Thanks very much. Let's have a look. Okay, we are here back at the scroll lock. I'm going to try and show you something here. I don't know if my camera's going to pick it up. But what I was saying about two different fields, both kind of attached to both ends of the magnets, clockwise and counterclockwise, clockwise and counterclockwise, but inverted, but they're all attached. And they all want to attach to that magnet right there. So I'm going to show you, hopefully, the heart um, scroll lock end, north to south or south to north, whichever these are, I don't know. Um, you're going to see the heart as this comes in. But then the leaders that I said were coming up and trying to grab the end, which is actually this end, it forms a circle to the other, to this top part, like a like one going one way and one going the other, and all joining the heart at the bottom. So here it goes. Let's see. No nope, wrong end. Okay, so we've got all our fields locking in. See, you can't see it. Damn it. Okay, see. Behind my finger, right there, and right there, and that's why I said you feel the pull. This magnet has grabbed hold of that field too. But if I bring it around, and it's, <laughs> if I bring it around to, to look what's going on over there, and then there come the circles that are now opposing it. It's just pushing, way. Oh my gosh, I've got some great colours going on here, but you can't see them. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to get them in. Look at that. And there's a... Oh, can I get it in shot? No. But there again. Look at that, eh? So that is opposing ends again. But it's now trying to pull round to the back side of this magnet. Even though... Ugh, it pulled that way. Look at that. Eh? So all that is trying to attach to the back end of that magnet. This is what I was going to show you with the rig magnet, but I decided not to. So I'm kind of showing you it with this. So we'll turn it back to the heart. The heart goes in. Like the heart is actually here and here but the field that I said was flicking up trying to get to this it spun around and that's why it pulled it well you know that's a great example actually it pulled it because you can see it we can all see that that and that side are all attached down here excuse that lump in the middle that's just a inertia line crossover because I joined two magnets so you got your heart here which comes around here and comes around here but yeah because this I can't reach with my fingers this side of the field is reaching around to this side of the field 
because both are on both sides of the field and it's going one way so obviously they are attached to both sides of the field but yeah I said we that when you push this in it's trying to attach to the other end and because this is here you can now see that the other end is trying to attach to this end and that's the reason it does that okay I said there was a reason and that is it it springs around because it's already attached because it's a double field on both ends so the field that's attracting it here that I've said has reached up and pulled here then goes through the inertia line and bounces out of this end and comes out of this side so of course it's going to spin it around because this is attached to this in a figure eight and it goes around the inertia line and comes down here and so you now know that both ends of the field are at both ends clockwise and counterclockwise and now I again have shown another massive discovery that nobody else has ever shown or even thought of that this field wraps around to here and this is what does that thanks very much Now I'm going to show you the ring magnet and because I've said that counterclockwise and clockwise are on both sides of the field but it's going one way and that's why the opposite end was dragged around because the let's say north top field grabbed hold of it and then rotated it through the inertia line and out the south side and that's what it did so when a ring magnet is broken it automatically flips over because it then goes from north north to south south and south south to north north and then flips because you've got two fields on either side and so they automatically twist because you've just changed the arrangement. Thanks a lot, Matt. Now, this is a ring magnet. This is just the end of the last video. I wanted to show you this, to show you the two different fields on either side of a magnet, but I wasn't sure how this, it's a microwave ring magnet. I wasn't sure how the configuration is set up, whether it's north and south or north and, and south. But... Let me just show you. So this looks all well and good. This is actually broken, but this is it together. So we have our normal field in the center there, but now I'm going to let go. See that? So that's actually a repulsion side. Look at that in the middle. See that? That is the black hole, because I'm probably not going to be able to show you. That there was the black dot with all the lines coming off it in the center when it was together. I'm going to try and squash it together for you. Because both sides of the field are on both sides of the magnet. And it's quite brilliant, really. This is like a gash. You can see the black hole appeared. And boom. We are back to our original form. But... That black hole, sorry, that black line there, that there, what's that underneath? Oh, get rid of that first. It's kind of right in the way. That black hole, try and keep hold of it here. So if you ignore that black line down there, that's a power cable. Oh, get off light. Where'd you go? There it is, see it moving across? And then it forms that little black hole. And that again, so I haven't got enough hands. But you just saw me put it together. That goes back into the middle. But the ring magnet is now acting like it's the opposite side. So I'm not 100% certain because I haven't got enough hands or clamps and things like that, which is uh, why I need donations, people, my brothers and sisters. I need to be able to show stuff that I know is there and that I've been talking about, but I can't. Put this down for a sec. Split. Okay. Oh, I don't have enough hands. Okay. So there's that black hole coming in. And boom. 
we are back to a normal ring magnet. So, do you now understand? I hope from seeing showing the other magnet, um, I showed the uh, barrel magnet there that it was attached to both sides. It sprang up and grabbed it. So uh, I'm going to have a quick research of these magnets and try and figure out what's what, whether it's north and south on either side or north and south on either side. But that black hole, see, look at that. So that's it. So all of that squashed in there is actually that line there. And if I try and move this towards it, it's going to flip. Because now, this is attractive. I've turned half the magnet upside down. So, I'm going to be looking into the magnet, the fridge magnet, the microwave magnet a bit more. But that black hole is what is keeping them apart. I'm going to try and lift this up. Okay, what I'm doing here is just doing a bit of angling with the plates um, just showing you that it's the broken ring magnet and so again these are opposing fields that I'm pushing together because I'm going to push back together the actual magnet so what you're going to see in the middle is what you would normally see with a unbroken one that is the repulsion side you can see the circles there pushing against it and that is what forms that in the middle see so now we have that I'll show it on a different one as well and then finally here's the broken ring magnet and that's the normal view underneath the ferro cell there it's splitting apart because it is opposing fields uh, I've just cut it a little bit here because I'm farting around too much and then trying to push it back together opposing fields actually make that vortex in the center so running from one side to the other is a clockwise and counterclockwise rotation clockwise opposes counterclockwise and so the top of each magnet is pushing against itself and then runs around the inertia line and pushes against itself which is why it then flips over when it becomes split so I do believe that's a brand new revelation um, that yeah there's definitely opposing fields on either side of the magnet as you can see they push together or click together when you turn them over thanks a lot my name is Lee and I follow the Christ Jesus and he showed me all this kind of thing in visions in 2014 for three weeks day and night and uh, yeah, it's all quite brilliant really. Thanks very much.